Hey guys, and welcome back to another Dungeon 4 tutorial. Today is part 8 of our Animal AI series. So as I mentioned previously, the main part is done. However, we're going to be going over some things on how to improve it, using some of your guys' suggestions, and some things I've thought of along the way as well. So today, I'm going to be doing one of each. So I'm going to be improving the turning on them, because as you may know, the turning isn't smooth, it's very snappy, which I can show you now. And we're also going to be adding in so they have a home. So when they want to sleep, they don't just sleep where they are, they actually go back home and then they sleep. So let's show the turning first, so it's going to walk. When it turns, it's just going to snap around. Like so, if we wait a second, there we go, like that. So we're going to be fixing that, and like I say, also giving them a home. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So what we're going to do first is give them the nice smooth turning. So that's actually very, very simple. As I mentioned again previously, I could have done this very quickly in a different episode, it was like 30 seconds, but not everyone will watch every episode, so I want to make sure I do it here so people know it. So what we're going to do is open up our animal BP, which for me is new Deirdo BP. Then if we select new Deirdo BP self, or just the name of your AI self up in the top left, what we're going to do is in the top right, search for use controller rotation your, we want to disable that so it's false. And then if we select the character movement and then search for orient rotation to movement and we tick that so it's true, this should now give us a nice smooth turning. So like I say, that's very simple, very quick to do. So now if we get in when they turn, as you saw there, they now turn nice and smoothly. They don't snap, they actually smoothly rotate as well. So it's not a turn in place as such with an actual animation. However, it is a lot better than them just snapping. They do nicely just turn around instead, as you see there. So that looks a lot better. So I could just do that, but that'll be a very, very short episode. So I've added something else on as well. And that is giving them a home to go back to when they sleep, which is also very simple as well. So what we want to do to do this is back in our animal BP, we want to create a new variable. And I'm going to name this one home location or home vector or just home, anything like that. And I'm going to change it to be a vector. So it's a location variable. Then I'm going to tick instance editable and show 3D widget. We can also tick expose on spawn as well. So you can set the home if you want to spawn them in, but make sure you have instance editable and show 3D widget on like so. Compile and save that. We can leave the default value as it is. Then we're going to find some empty space in here. I'm going to do it near my sleeping and resting here. So here's my sleeping anim. I'm going to do it just above and I'm going to right click adding a custom event and I'm going to name this one Go Home. Not Ho Home, sorry. Go Home. And then what I'm going to do is out of this, very simply, you're going to get AI Move To like that. The pawn is going to be self. And the destination is going to be our home location. So as it sounds, this is just going to simply move the AI to go home. It is very simple. We could leave it as that. But what I'm going to do instead is hold down B and left click to get a branch connecting that into the on success like so. The condition is going to be is tired. So this is basically going to see if they want to sleep or not. So once they go home, do they want to sleep? If they do, we're going to call function rest like so, or you may have it as sleep. And then after that, I'm also going to call function regain energy like so. And if you're wondering where I've got them from, if we go back to our decide next action, you can see where we have is tired true, we have rest and regain energy. We've moved them to be after the AI move to here. So it's going to go home and then it's going to rest and regain the energy. So back on the decide next action, we can delete rest and regain energy and replace that with simply just go home. And the reason I've done it that way instead is because then we can still use this function here just to tell it to go home in any other situation as well if we want to. So if it's not tired, we can still make it go home and it will only sleep if it's tired. Off of false of this branch, I'm just gonna have it decide next action. So when it goes home, it can then do something else as well if it isn't tired. I'm gonna select all this, hit C to comment it, name this go home in brackets and sleep. And then again, if we check here, decide next action, that looks correct. So essentially, if it's tired, it's gonna go home and then it's gonna sleep. Or if it's not tired, we can still tell it to go home and it will sleep perfectly like so. What I'm going to do just to make this easier to test out is decrease my energy. So actually, if I minimize this, I can change it on one of these specifically. So let's change this one to have the energy default value as 10. So it's going to go down very, very quickly, 
just so that we can easily see it working. In fact, I might put this 20 just to make it a bit longer. Then you can also see that if we select these, we have a home location here. What we can do is if I select this one again, this is the one I modified, I'm going to scroll down where we have these default values, and you can see we have home location. I'm going to open this up, and we can move the x, y, and z coordinates to move the home location like so. Now if you move the deer, the home location will move with it relative to it, however this is still the world location of it. So we're going to move this like so, so let's just put it here. So this location here is the deer's home, so it's going to move to that location when it's tired and then it will sleep. So let's hit play and test this out. So that one over there is going to move about and then when it gets tired it's going to go home. In fact it may have already gone home straight away. But you can see it's a lot easier and also when it's turning there it's a lot smoother and looks a lot nicer. So there you go, it went home and then it slept. So that works a lot better and that's very great for us. So I will actually increase this a bit more so the energy is let's say 50 and not 500, 50. And I'm also going to add some print strings on here just so I know what it's doing. So after we tell it to go home here I'm just going to get a print string. And obviously we'll know it's home because it's going to start sleeping. But let's look at this again. So essentially we fixed the turning animations on them and then we've also got it that when it's tired it's going to go home first and then it's going to sleep. And I'm looking at this one specifically, however it will work on all of them. I'm just testing this one out because I've lowered the energy. However you saw there it said hello as it's tired, it's then turned to go home and once it gets home it's then going to sleep perfectly like so. And as you see that there is the home location for this deer, so this works perfectly for us. So I think that'll be it for this video, so we've done everything we've wanted to do. We've set it up so that the animals now have a smoother turning circle on them instead of just snapping. And they also have it so when they're tired, they will go home and then sleep, not just sleep wherever they are. Because obviously if you're in real life, if you're tired, you're not going to sleep where you are, you're going to go home first. And it's the same with animals. Animals tend to have the habitat where they all sleep. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.